everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Kristen. Merry Christmas! And today I'm doing a gift wrapping video where I'm just going to wrap all the gifts that I've bought for family and friends. This video is going to be a ongoing video, though you guys won't really notice a difference other than my clothes will change. Um, I still have Christmas shopping to do. It's currently Thanksgiving and I'm nowhere near finished Christmas shopping for my family, but I've finished pretty much with my children. I just need to get their um, Christmas pajamas and their stocking stuffers. Um, but I'm still shopping for family, so I will be back after all of this is wrapped um, to continue gift wrapping. <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoy this. Hopefully you guys are having a very happy holiday, whatever it is that you celebrate. Um, of course, for me it is Christmas. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get started with gift wrapping. <clears throat> So I've got some of the oldest gift wrap of life. For some of you who don't know, I inherited my grandmother's house. It came with all of her stuff in it, and that included gift wrap. And I've got a lot of it in my basement. <laughs> so I thought this year we would go ahead and try to get some of it up. We'll see how good some of this stuff is. I'm going to have to take off some of these crinkly bits. Maybe not. That might work. We'll see. I'm like a total cheapskate. Like, I don't want to buy more if I don't have to. I'm horrible. I've got tons of it in the basement. I'm the worst at doing this box trick. Anybody else? I can never seem to get it right. It takes me a minute. There we go. We got it. Okay. I'm not sure that this is enough gift wrap to do this whole thing. I might need to take some more off. Anybody else seen that trick on Facebook where you're supposed to like wrap it from an angle? And it's supposed to like cover the box or something? I feel like I tried this last year and it didn't work. I'm not sure if it's going to work this year. It's going for my baby. He's not going to care. <laughs> he will have no opinions on this whatsoever if we're being honest. trick this year though is keeping my toddler out of the Christmas presents because he's old well this year we actually did a Christmas tree the last couple years we've just not bothered with it because we have two cats who like to get into the Christmas tree for starters and then we have at the time last last couple years you know a baby and then a two month old and like it just didn't seem like a, a good idea bothering with the tree plus he was so little he didn't care about it at all but we didn't want to mess with it because we we're like well the cats are going to be all in it and we're going to keep the baby out of it so we just didn't do it the last couple of years this is the first year since we've had our oldest boy who like i said is now three that we've done a christmas tree and so far he's done really good leaving it alone i mean we've had to get him on get on him a few times for trying to play with like the christmas ornaments the balls he thinks they're toys but overall He's done pretty well with it. We've got one little spot here in the corner that's not covered, but I don't think you can hardly see it. So I don't know if I'm going to worry too awful much about it. So yeah, he's done really well with the Christmas tree this year so far, um, but we don't have any Christmas presents under it yet. So it's going to be interesting to see how he does once there's Christmas presents under the tree and seeing if he leaves them alone or not. So what do you guys do for your kids to keep them out from your Christmas tree? Do you guys have any tricks? Um, I'm sure as he gets older, he'll have a better understanding to leave it alone, but right now he's so little. I'm not sure how well he's going to do. So this box, <laughs> not the best gift for up, but you know what? We're going to work with it. Waste not, want not, right? So it's not horrible. Not the best, but again going for a baby who's not going to care. Anybody else get tired of filling out name tags? Like, ugh, I don't know. Last year for my son, my oldest boy, I just started putting from parents instead of putting mom and dad because it was less I had to, to write. <clears throat> and then of course it smears when I go to stick it down. I just smeared the ink everywhere. Whatever. Okay, I feel like the paper at this end has gotten wet. Cause it's just like really sticking. 
in the worst way. Okay, so I just went ahead and undid the whole thing, and hopefully it's enough to just do one big one big gift, and then we can just be done with it because this wrapping paper is not great. <laughs> it has seen better days. So here's my son's quilt. We'll see if we have enough for this or not. Yeah, so we've got enough to do his quilt. So I'm debating on if I should do his quilt in this or if I should do his Play-Doh kitchen. I feel like it's almost a little too much for the quilt. I feel like the Play-Doh kitchen might be too big for it. Actually, I think Play-Doh kitchen will be the winner on this. I guess I got on my uh, basement and we only have to do two presents with it. <laughs> and of course, little kids don't care that much about the gift wrap. We are just right on it. So do you guys have any holiday traditions? I feel like maybe I should have done this as like a live feed and it would have been fun. However, I would not be able to read the comments because of how far away I have the camera so that you guys can see me gift wrapping and then for second of all I guess that wouldn't work very well with me coming back to uh, to continue gift wrapping as we buy more stuff and third of all I don't want my family who watches this to see what I bought them before Christmas comes because my parents do watch my videos so probably best to go ahead and do it like this so that nobody sees their Christmas presents before Christmas so anyways, do you guys have any family traditions? My family, we do the, um, sorry, apparently I can't use scissors and talk at the same time. Um, we have, for the kids on Christmas Eve, they will get um, a box that has a pair of Christmas pajamas and a storybook to read and that's something that my parents did for me when I was a kid. They didn't do the storybooks, I don't think, I don't remember, um, I'm not pretty sure they didn't, but I got a pair of Christmas pajamas as a gift on Christmas Eve and then my husband as a tradition in his family, I have to, you have to let me know if anybody else out there does this because I've never heard of it until I got with my husband. Um, his family did something called Friday gifts, where the kids get a gift on Friday. It's just something small. So normally for our son, we give him like a new Hot Wheels, like a dollar. Um, so that's something that we've started doing for our kids. Um, those are not included in this video at all because my husband does the gift wrap on those and he tends to kind of lead the way in that, in that area, whereas I do everything for the Christmas Eve gift. He kind of handles everything for the Friday gift just because that was his tradition growing up. Uh, but we do that for the boys. And we also do an advent calendar every year, which I did not get one as a kid growing up. I don't think my husband got one either. Could be wrong. Maybe he did. But I just thought it was something kind of fun to do. And then we also have the tradition of my mom and I will take... Um, my boys and we will go to this big beautiful mansion that's in our town that is definitely from like the Edwardian area era and we go and tour this mansion it's huge it's beautiful it was um, completely remodeled and they decorate it heavily for Christmas and they do like all kinds of lights and Christmas trees and a lot of businesses were like sponsor different rooms and so we'll go in and decorate like the kitchen or the parlor or bedrooms or the staircase. I mean there's a ballroom at the very top and they have music playing in the ballroom. They have like this huge Christmas village and my mom always dances with my son and it's just like a really good memory. But I'll tell you what, I tried vlogging going there on two different occasions because it's something that we just kind of started doing when my firstborn was really little. Like he was not even a year old yet. And I've tried vlogging us going there on two different occasions, 
and every time I vlog it, something goes wrong with the footage. And that house is so old. I know a lot of you guys probably think I'm crazy, but I can't help but wonder if there's not like maybe spirits in the house that don't want me filming. Because <laughs> it's weird. Like I never have an issue with my footage, but the two times I've tried vlogging us going there, um, it's just not worked out. Like I don't think in the three years that we've gone, I don't think that I've gotten a single, or this will be our third year going, I don't think I've gotten a single vlog that I didn't have corrupt footage on. Filming with my phone, which is what I've always filmed with, and never have a problem any other, any other time. I mean, I do have a, a regular camera, which is what I'm using right now. This paper is actually really pretty when it's not got the water damage. Um, so, yeah, there, we always have, or I always have, corrupt footage um, anytime I film in there. So, I don't think last year I even bothered with it. But, that's something we do every year. I'm going to move on to this. How many of you guys remember gift wrap coming in a plastic sleeve like this. Um, I can tell it's old just by the, the, the style on it. I don't personally ever remember seeing it in stores like this. Um, man, maybe they still sell it like this. I don't know. It's from Target. I've seen this. It was My grandma paid 83 cents for it. And I couldn't help but wonder like how much could I sell it on eBay for. It's vintage, right? Vintage antique Christmas wrap. Maybe I should have looked that up before I used it because probably like fifty dollars worth of get well it's got water damage on it too. How is that water damage and it's been sitting in plastic all these years? I don't get it. So let's see, moving on. What do I want to wrap up next? I'm trying to make sure that I've got enough gift wrap to do whatever it is that I'm doing. Let's see if we have enough to do this because it's kind of like a skinny thing of gift wrap. So yeah, we go and tour this mansion every year. That is one of our traditions. And then we also go to see the Christmas lights. There's two different parks in my town that does Christmas lights up really big. One of them we go with my parents and it's a walkthrough and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, the, the charity that runs it's called We Care. They're actually on a television show last year where they were competing with several other different displays. Um, to see who had the most Christmas lights or whatever. We care lost, but yeah, they're on that TV show last year. I don't even remember what the show was called. Um, but it's a great charity that we love to support in our town. And yeah, we go and see the Christmas lights every year. And then they like give kids like a little toy off the tree, like a little stuffed animal. Um, you can make donations and they have like cookies and cocoa. And like I said, it's a walkthrough. So we all... We all go with my parents and do the walkthrough of We Care. And then there's another park in my town that does Christmas lights that you can drive through and look at. And there's a like a horse barn or whatever. I don't really know what you want to call it. But it's a couple towns over. Well, the next town over. A much smaller town than mine. And they excuse me, they come to the park I'm talking about and they offer carriage rides. And so that's something my husband and I did last year. We took our son and we went on a carriage ride um, through the park to see Christmas lights. And it was, I could see how cool it would be in good weather. Last year, it was like freezing rain, horrible conditions. I felt bad for the horse, but it was like 60 some dollars to do this and it was non-refundable. And so we showed up and we took our carriage ride in the freezing rain. But it was really neat seeing the um, the Christmas lights through in, in a carriage. It was it was really pretty. So you know, we had umbrellas and we had blankets with us, but it was still just like horrible weather. So we're doing it again this year. Um, we invited our parents to come because the carriage seats six. My in-laws are definitely coming. My parents might come if my dad can get off of work. Well, we shall see. I told my mom she could come either way, but she said that she doesn't know if she wants to go without my dad. So. We'll see, but we're gonna make a day of it. We're gonna go out to eat with at least my in-laws. We'll see if my parents come or not. And then we're gonna go on our carriage ride through the park, see the Christmas lights. And then on Christmas morning, which we're doing things a little differently this year. We're not actually gonna be doing Christmas 
Christmas morning on Christmas um, because my dad has to work Christmas, unfortunately. So I forget what day we're doing Christmas on with my parents. But our kids are so little, they're not going to know the difference. Um, hopefully you guys can hear me through the crinkles of the paper. But my parents will be, I, I think we're going to be doing Christmas here at my house. The last couple of years we've done Christmas at my parents' house. But my parents' house is just a smidge smaller than mine. So we're thinking that if we do it here, it might be a little bit more comfortable for everybody. Just because the family is growing. Now we've got two grandchildren instead of one. Um, so my parents come here on Christmas morning because I am an only child. Like, I have no siblings. And so it just kind of makes sense to do Christmas with my parents, like on Christmas morning. And so we just have all of our gifts here. And then Santa comes by with, you know, toys for the, the kids, their Christmas. And yeah, leading up to Christmas, whole month of December, um, the last few months, last few years we've done it at my parents' house. So I'll just like wrap things and haul it over there. This year I think we'll doing it opposite. They'll be wrapping things and hauling it over here. We just try to get everything here before Christmas morning. That way we don't have to deal with it on Christmas morning. Um, and Santa Claus just lays something out that, that he brings by. And we have Christmas breakfast. My dad normally cooks it, so I don't know how things are going to work out this year. If I host, then I guess I'll be cooking it. Um, and yeah, then we just do Christmas with my parents. Um, that was something that my aunt and her kids started when my oldest cousin got married and before they had children. And then my younger, my younger cousins still lived at home. Um, they would all, her and her husband, I guess, would go over to my aunt's house for Christmas on Christmas morning instead of like doing Christmas separately by themselves at their, their house. And then when they had kids, and then when my younger cousin got married and she had kids, they all just kind of kept going to my aunt's house. And so when I got married, I was kind of like, well, that just makes sense. Like, we'll just do it all with my parents because you know, I have no siblings. They have no other, they're not going to have any other grandchildren besides what I provide. <laughs> so we just do all, all our Christmas morning with my parents and it works out. Um, and then Christmas Eve, we spend, not Christmas Eve, um, Christmas evening, <laughs> that evening, we go out to my in-laws and my husband is one of four kids. So he has three other siblings and there are 12 grandchildren, I think. Um, and we all go out there for Christmas Eve. We do Christmas, Christmas, not Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, the evening. You guys get what I'm saying? The evening of Christmas Day, we go out to my in-laws and do Christmas there. And then I'm trying to make it into a thing where like my boys will wear their Christmas pajamas all day long, whatever we're, we're doing. So that's something. <laughs> Just because they're cute and you spend a lot of money on it and it's like, you know what? Wear those things all day. You're cute in it. One thing that'll be kind of nice if we do Christmas at my house this year is that we have a footstool that was my grandmother's. And when we used to do Christmas here, my grandma lived here, my dad, well, it used to be my grandpa, because what they do is they do this thing called playing Santa, I guess. Um, <clears throat> and so the head male in the family will pass out presents, which was my grandpa until he passed, and then it was my dad. And... You, you do one present at a time, which makes Christmas go on like all morning, but it's what we do. <laughs> and so there's this footstool that my grandpa would always sit on and my dad would always sit on to pass out Christmas presents. And when my husband and I inherited my grandma's house, um, the footstool was of course here and I didn't get rid of it, but I, I started using it for like my vanity. So I sit on it for my vanity stuff when I'm doing makeup. Um, but if we do Christmas here this year, like we're planning, we can bring that out for my dad to sit on and pass out Christmas presents. So kind of excited about that. I know it's a silly little thing. It's just a footstool, but it's a part of the family for so many years. I'm assuming that my grandpa probably passed up Christmas presents sitting on that same footstool when my dad was a kid. Like, it's just always been there. So moving on to my son's recycling truck. I'm not sure if I mentioned it or not, but I did a whole what about my kids for Christmas video. So if you guys want to see that and more in depth look at their presents. Um, I'll link that video down below because I know I'm kind of just flying through their gifts and not really showing them to you guys because I already made that video. I'll show you guys uh, what I got my family a little more closely. Let's see if I've got enough gift wraps to finish this truck up. Maybe. We're cutting it close. Ooh, just enough. 
actually a little bit more than enough. But I don't have anything that small to wrap and knead it for. Maybe this, maybe. I feel like I'd still be cutting it a bit short. So we'll just go ahead and wrap it all with this right here. Actually, I'll go ahead and cut this and that should be enough to do the pillowcase. And then, yeah, that'll work. Okay, so I don't know if I mentioned or not, but today is Thanksgiving. Um, we didn't actually do Thanksgiving on Thanksgiving this year because my dad had to work. And my in-laws ended up moving it to the Saturday after Thanksgiving um, because there's issues with my sister-in-law and her ex-husband and the kids and all that stuff. So my husband's family's doing Thanksgiving this coming Saturday. What? Oh, that's what it, my husband heard me. That's what it was. His brother, not his sister, his brother is out of state. Nothing to do with his sister. Um, so he's out of state with his family doing Thanksgiving with his wife's family. And so we're doing Thanksgiving on Saturday for his side. And then we're doing Thanksgiving from my side tomorrow, which is Black Friday. So we didn't do any anything Thanksgiving related today. Um, but we are going to go out Black Friday shopping here in a little bit. There's some sales and deals we want to look at. So I'm going to be wrapping up this video for the moment. I'll show you guys what this present looks like after it's all wrapped. Um, but yeah, we're going to head out to go shopping. So I need to put all these toys away so my kid doesn't see them. And I will be back with you guys in a few days to continue wrapping more gifts. And that is what it looks like all wrapped up. I really like the way that turned out. It's very pretty. I really like this paper. I'm excited by it. I mean, I know it's like super old school, but I like that paper. I think it turned out quite nice. Okay, guys, I am back after Black Friday shopping. Let me adjust you really quickly. That's a little better. Um, so I'm back after Black Friday shopping. We didn't get a whole lot, but I did get Christmas pajamas for the boys. Uh, they were not the ones that I wanted. I really wanted to get those ones from Burt's Bees, but I had a really good deal at these on Target. So I paid $10 per pajama set. They were, I think, regular $15. They were regular $15.99, and I got them for $10. And you got two pairs of pajamas for $10 a piece. So I paid $20 for four pairs of pajamas. Again, I really wanted to get them those Burt's Bees, um, but this was just a good deal, and maybe next year we'll go with the Burt's Bees. The Burt's Bees were not on sale tonight at all. Well, actually, no, you saved a dollar. They were regular 16 and had them on sale for a dollar, and of course, at Target, in-store, they did not have the right sizing, and then online, they still didn't have the right sizing. So, I just went with these. I got a 12-month for the baby. Which I think might be a little big on him. And then I got a 3T for my toddler. Which normally I'm all for. Clothes are a little big on them. But since they're their Christmas pajamas. I kind of want them to fit a little better. So we'll see. I don't know. I might change my mind. But I think I'm going to put this one. Because this one says Yeti for bed. But I think I'm going to put this one in their Christmas box. I just think that will be cute. So I think that's going to be their, their Christmas jams for this year. And then the other set, I think I might still just go ahead and wrap up for them. Just like as an extra gift. Because I've got them now anyways. So I guess might as well. Because <laughs> if we're being honest, neither of my children need more pajamas. They both have pajamas coming out of their ears. However, they both do need more pants. <laughs> So maybe I should have bought them Christmas pants. 
Okay, so I've got like less than five minutes left on this memory card, so we're gonna switch out really quickly. Okay, so we are back to do more gift wrapping. I feel like this angle actually works a little bit better. You guys can see more. <laughs> so hopefully I've got everything here. Scissors. Okay, found some kitchen shears. Gonna have to make it work. So first thing I actually wanted to show you guys, I thought was kind of cutesy if you guys do something similar, um, is that my family, like the larger side of my family, um, like my aunts and my cousins and everything, we get together and we have almost like a family reunion. We all get together and we all, you know, have dinner and then we all play bingo for gifts and everybody's supposed to bring a gift card. It used to be gifts, now it's gift cards um, or money, which is what I'm doing this year is money. Um, everybody's supposed to bring a $10 gift card, but I feel like cash is better. And I had these little gift boxes. My mom sent me um, a gift set from Swiss Colony. They just have like a little like holiday snacks and treats in it. And so this top tier box had, it's like different variety size boxes. They get bigger. Um, but this top box I thought was just, I thought they were all cute. And I thought, you know, that's a perfect size to put $10 and a candy cane in. I've got like some little tiny candy canes my kid got from seeing Santa Claus that he did not eat. So I'm like, excuse me. I'm like money and candy cane perfect size box for that so if you guys have any like little extra holiday boxes sitting around maybe think about reusing them for money gifts or like gift cards so perfect size for that <clears throat> so I actually have more stuff to wrap but I left it over there on our chair so we'll start with what's over here first so I'm supposed to bring a gift for my kids to this holiday party I think I mentioned that to you guys um, a little while ago and so this is what I got my seven month old baby isn't that cute? It's from Obal. Yeah, Obal. And it's like a little froggy with handles and a ball inside. You guys can see it. I thought it was cute. And I just thought that would be perfect for him. So we can finally use up the rest of this paper. Fantastic. And that'll be his little Christmas present from the holiday party. <laughs> I swear, wrapping anything ball shaped is like the worst. You guys can't even see me doing it. Oh my goodness, I thought I was in frame. I'm not, keep scooting back. <laughs> okay, I mean that's not too bad looking for being a ball, right? How many other parents out there hate wrapping balls? Like seriously, kids wanna have them, but Man, they are not easy to wrap well. <laughs> they never look good. Let me know if you guys have any tricks for wrapping toy balls for gifts. Let me know because that's the best that I got, right? Like that should be the thumbnail. Wrap presents with me. Look how good I am at wrapping presents. I'm also one of those people that like if I get gift tags in the mail, I'm going to use them. So like these ones came from Indiana University because my husband is alumni from, in, blah, 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 I can't talk. My husband is Indiana University alumni. And so every year they send us, well, not every year, but this year, I think this is the first year they've ever sent it, but they sent us some um, gift tags and I'm like, hell yeah, I'm going to use some gift tags. So I have to punch those out. Ooh, I did not do that well. <laughs> I stuck a hole right through it. That might be too big for for Ira's gift anyways. Do you guys hear him in there cooing? He's oh, stuck my finger through it again. He's in there on his uh, Johnny jumper. Sounds like he's having a great time. Hopefully. Is that going to start being fussing? Don't cry. I bet he's upset because he can't reach his owl. He's got like a little toy owl that hangs off his Johnny jumper. That's probably what he's fussing about because he probably isn't coordinated enough to get it up on the train, so it's making me mad. Okay, this next one is called a cook-all. It's um, a cast iron piece of cookware from the Lodge brand. My dad loves cast iron, so this is his big gift from us. technically I should probably flip it over to wrap it because this is like the upside but like guys I can barely pick it up to get it open and I'm not a weak person okay like I'm 
don't want to say I'm like super strong or anything, but like. Just, just trust me when I say it's heavy. So currently it is, we got like a week and a half before Christmas. I think today's the 12th and I'm almost done with my Christmas shopping. I just filmed a video for what I got for my kids' Christmas stockings. I can link that below if you're curious. Um, we're almost done with Christmas shopping. We still have one more nephew to buy for. Um, I'd like to get a few more things for my mom. Um, I'd like to get a few more things for my dad. I haven't bought either of them like a ton this year. I haven't been able to. But what I got them has been really nice. You guys, did I show you guys that stuff? I think I did. Anyways, so, well, this is one of the things so far I bought for my dad. Um, it's such a great stance I was in. Good Lord. Get it together. I'm such a lady. Um, so yeah, I want to buy them a few more things. We get paid next Thursday, so do some shopping then. Um, like I said, we got one more nephew to buy for, and then we have to buy for my mother-in-law and my father-in-law, but we have no idea what to get them. My mother-in-law loves the store CJ Banks, so like every year we pretty much get her a gift card there so she can go shopping. It's probably what we we'll end up doing again this year because we never really know what to get her. Um, so I'm thinking about I might get her. Bath and Body Works is doing their buy three, get three free sale. So I know my mom wanted some stuff from Bath and Body Works. So if they're still doing that sale on Monday, I'm gonna go to the mall with a friend on Monday. So if they're still doing that sale on Monday, then if I can do a buy three, get three free, I'll get a set for my mom and a set for my, mo my mother-in-law and that'll work out perfectly. And then we can get my mother-in-law the gift card for CJ Banks. <coughs> and then we got her, I didn't show you guys cause I already wrapped it. There's been a few things we've gotten here and there that I've just wrapped just to get it out of the way. And I just put it in a gift box. Um, so we got her a case for her iPad. So we've gotten her a case for her iPad. And then hopefully I'll get catch that sale. And then we'll also get her a gift card for CJ Banks. And then I have no idea what to get my father-in-law. Like, no idea what to get him at all. I got a Christmas list for my dad, though. He wants some... Uh, He wants some gunpowder, so then I get him that, and I need more tape. Technically, I have enough paper here. If I cut it off, I could probably wrap something else with it, but I kind of just want to get rid of this paper. And I also feel like I'm kind of being wasteful by doing that. I should probably just do the right thing and cut off the extra. I also have fantastic scissor skills, like beautifully cut. You guys see those perfectly non-jagged edges? Please note my sarcasm. <laughs> oh, geez. And you can't use tape either. You guys, I'm a mess. So we ended up taking the boys to see Santa Claus at the library. We were gonna go to the mall and pay to have pictures taken there. That was the plan, and the package is like $50. Um, Cause I wanted the bigger packages here cause I wanted a picture with just Ira and Santa Claus. And the only way we could do that would be with the bigger, pack bigger package. Cause like he's a baby and I just think baby pictures with Santa Claus is super cute. And like he's never, you know, he's never gonna be a baby again. <laughs> so I thought we would do a, uh, the bigger package and then just have each kid do an individual picture with Santa Claus. Um, and that was going to be like $50. After this year, like we can just pay for like the $30 package and just have them both in the same picture. That's fine with me. It was just this year is kind of special because it's Ira's first Christmas and we got pictures with Levi with the Santa Claus and him. We got that for like two years, but like you guys get what I'm saying. Um, but the library was doing stories with Santa, which we ended up getting there late. We actually ended up getting there really early. And so we decided to go get ice cream to be my dyslexic self. Um, just, 
I actually didn't really have much to do with my, dys my dyslexia. I had everything to do with, uh, I thought it started at 6 and it started at 6.30. And when we got to the library, it was like 10 after 6. And uh, the dyslexia part comes in because my husband, my husband was like, well, we've got like um, 20 minutes. Why don't we go get ice cream? And I was like, we only have 10 minutes. Are you sure you don't want to wait? And I was just having a dyslexic moment. And he had to explain it to me and break it down and be like, no, we have 20 minutes. Um, so, so we ended up going and getting ice cream and then we were there at Dairy Queen a little bit longer than we should have been. So we got there like 20 minutes late and they already finished stories. Uh, so he missed out on that, but he got to see Santa Claus and I posted the pictures on Instagram if you guys want to go see him. Um, and, uh, yeah, they were free. <laughs> we just got to take the pictures ourselves. I don't think they turned out too bad. Of course, they're not as good as professional, but like, I still think they looked pretty cute. And so we decided that that was good enough. And so we're not going to go to the mall. It saved us 50 bucks. <laughs> and we just did Santa Claus at the library this year. So I think that worked out pretty well. Um, as I mentioned a little bit ago, I just did um, a video for what I got my kids for their stockings and I overspent. And then I also found, like I got too much to fit in their stockings, way too much. And then I just found extras in a box on top of my refrigerator that I forgot I bought also for their stockings that are not gonna fit. And I should have gotten those out to wrap just now and I, I didn't. Um, but anyways, there's something that my husband does as, a, as, as was a tradition that he grew up with where um, you get a Friday gift and it's something his mom started because they had four kids and it was just to, like hold the kids off until Christmas so they got one gift a week until Christmas and so that's something we've started with Levi and we needed one more Friday gift and so I had both of these I was gonna take them back to the store because I just bought too many and they were not gonna fit in the stocking I plan on putting this one all in separately but like there was no way it was gonna fit um, so this one I think I'm still gonna return because he really doesn't need more soap but this one I'm gonna wrap up and we'll use it as a Friday gift. So that works out quite well. And the nice thing about three-year-olds is that they don't care about wrapping jobs. And also, if you guys see me holding my wrist just now, um, I need to do a whole, like, well, I'm a little late on it, but six month postpartum update. But something I never talked about during any of my pregnancy updates, and I don't know why I never did, but um, during this pregnancy, at the very end of it, the last month, month and a half, I developed carpal tunnel in both of my wrists and I would have pain shoot all the way up my arms. And my doctor said it would go away within a couple of months of having my baby. And for the most part it has, but I think I've since developed arthritis in my wrists and I get pain that shoots through my hands um, if I move them the wrong way or too far like going like this hurts that's painful um lifting things or gripping things that are like, sometimes it hurts my hands aren't really hurting me too bad today it's mostly in the wrist but sometimes it spreads into my hands <clears throat> and whatever i was just doing a few moments ago i overdid it with my wrist and it shot pain all through my wrist so that's why i was holding it because when i put pressure on it that seems to like help help us aside subside um i need to go to the doctor for it and get it all checked out but i feel like they're not going to be able to do anything and with two little kids, like, I know they're going to want to take x-rays. And I'm just like, what do I do with my children to go get x-rays? Like, I just feel like there's never a good time to go to the doctor. So, I haven't gone. <laughs> Even though I, I need to. I need to go get it checked out. Get it confirmed that it's arthritis and there's nothing they can do for me. But it feels like the arthritis I have in my back. So, I'm assuming that, for whatever reason, having the carpal tunnel on my wrist caused the arthritis to set in. Um, but like I'm not getting numbness or anything and that's how it was with the carpal tunnel like my arms would just go completely numb which apparently that's something that happens in pregnancy yeah you can get um, pregnancy related carpal tunnel had no idea <clears throat> it's not a fun time and my doctor would tell me because it would, it would always come on me at night and she would tell me um, have you tried sleeping on the couch and I'm like you are overestimating my couch it is not that comfortable like we need a new couch guys okay like my couch has been used and abused. We have a three-year-old who likes to jump on it. And guys, that was a bad habit we got him in. Like he started doing it when he was little and it was cute. I'm like, oh, look at my 12 month old baby jumping on the couch, like how adorable. Yeah, turned into a habit and now we're having a hard time making him quit doing it. 
he gets in trouble for it now, but, and he don't do it like he used to, but he still every now and then tries. And <clears throat> my couch is not great. And then I've got cats that are bouncing off of it all the time. And then, yeah, me and my husband's fat butts, like, <laughs> and it came from big lots. So it's just not holding up super great. And, uh, yeah, long story short, we just need, we need a new couch. Um, and when my doctor was like, have you tried sleeping on your couch? And I'm like, <laughs> no, I'm not sleeping on my couch. <laughs> like, that, that's not happening. Um, and she was also like, you know, if you developed the carpal tunnel, like, like earlier on in, in your pregnancy, like, she would have sent me for physical therapy for it. But since I just had it the last month, she didn't do anything for me. So that was lovely as well. Yeah, like even just holding the scissors like this, like that hurts. It's like shooting pain all the underside of my wrist. It's lovely, guys. It's fantastic. <clears throat> Though it has gotten better. After I first had him, it was horrible. Like there was times like I almost dropped Levi and I've almost dropped Ira because my hands were so weak. Like my hands were horrible. Like like right after having him and like right at the end of my pregnancy, like I can't tell you how many times I almost dropped Levi. And to pick Levi up, instead of like just picking him up with my hands, I would have to ball my hands into fists. And cause for whatever reason, like this is more comfortable. I, I catch myself sleeping like this a lot where I just ball my hands up. And um, I would put my hands in fists and I would put my arms like through his arms and I would lift him like that because I couldn't pick him up. I can pick him up now, but it was it was bad. And then, there, like I said, there was times when I almost dropped Ira when he was a baby, like a baby baby, because my hands just couldn't. I would try to pick him up, and my hands just couldn't weren't strong enough to do it. It was crazy. I don't know why I'm putting a gift tag on this. It's going in a completely separate pile. I'll hold that back because that needs to go. We'll put that on something else. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap. This last one here, like, I've got all this stuff here. I'm going to take it all back to Walmart because we just have so much. Like, I make it sound like there's tons of stuff. But I ended up getting, like, three things of M&M's. So I only put one in his bag. And I'm going to take these ones back. And then I got the soaps. And, like, he doesn't need the soap. That was a bad purchase on my part. I thought it was bath paint. Not bath paint. So, I also got my husband pants i always get him a new pair of pants at christmas time he loves cargo cargo pants they gotta be cargo pants so he normally gets khaki this year my mom also got him a pair that are black so we'll see if he likes those or not he's never had them in black before hopefully he likes them unfurl thanks i don't ask much of you just do your job you have one job wrapping paper one job hoping to get through like all this old wrapping paper that we've had sitting around for a while because so next year I've got like a few different kinds of plaid wrapping paper I love plaid wrapping paper like I just love plaid wrap plaid plaid things in general but I've got a notification that will not go away so yeah I like plaid <laughs> and I've got a few different rolls of plaid paper which I think would just look really nice to have like assortment of different plaid gifts wrapped up we've done that a couple of years ago but I just had all these other kinds of papers as you guys have seen I think we're on like our third different kind of paper right now but they just need to get used up they're just taking up space so hopefully I can get through this roll that would be lovely if I can just completely get through this this roll of paper that would make me very happy. So anybody else's malls offer gift wrap? My mall used to. There used to be a church that would come in and volunteer. They didn't have to pay anything for it. It was really nice. And I remember when my husband and I first got together, we went and did that. We went shopping and bought stuff at the mall. And then we stopped off at their little booth and they wrapped all of our presents. And they did such a beautiful job. It was lovely. I think we did it a couple years in a row. And we didn't even like buy gift wrap or do anything like that. We just took it to the mall. <laughs> but then they stopped doing it, which sucks. But I, I can imagine that got expensive. There were a lot of people, and us included, who were just coming in to have things gift wrapped. 
So I remember when we first found them, like we had been Christmas shopping and so we had everything gift wrapped and then they're like, oh yeah, you can just bring stuff in and we'll wrap it. And so we went home and got everything else and brought it in. And they like let you pick out wrapping paper and they have lots of different kinds to pick from. And like I said, they just did beautiful jobs and we liked it, but they don't, they have done it for a couple years. But again, I'm sure that was expensive on the church's part. That's probably why they quit doing it, which would make sense. But does anybody else's mall do that? We were up in, um, where were we? Up in the northern part of Indiana, they have the uh, Hobart Candy Factory there. Let me know if you guys know what I'm talking about. I can't, Valparaiso maybe? Maybe that's the town? I can't remember. But we were at the um, mall up there by the Hobart Candy Factory. Love that mall. It's such a nice mall. I love the little kitty play area. It's so nice. We go shopping and then we take Levi to the kitty play area. And he just has a blast. And uh, runs all of his energies off. So we were there and they had a station set up for gift wrap. But they didn't have anybody there like actually running the station. So I wasn't sure if like you just helped yourself to it. Or if they had people who did the wrapping for you. But they just like weren't doing it when we were there. I don't really know. Mm. No, it fell right off. Okay, well, I need to go find those gifts. Oh, let me show you guys. So here's Levi's Christmas box, Christmas Eve box that we were talking about. So I need to get some like tissue paper or something for it. I think I've got some in the basement. Um, so it's a little bit of a bigger box than necessarily what I needed, but the smaller boxes were too small. So, but it's got his little Christmas book in here to read on Christmas Eve. And then it's got his pajamas, which I washed because if you guys remember, my cat drooled all over them. So they've been washed. I'm not one of those people who normally washes my kids' clothes before they wear them. I know a lot of people do that where like they buy new clothes and wash them, which, you know, that's, that's her thing. But I've never worried with it. So I found it was a little bit annoying. <laughs> so let me go find those gifts and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, guys, we got two more things for this gift wrapping session. So I got these for Levi for his stocking, but it was way too big to fit. Um, it's mess free coloring, comes with markers, and it's those, I think you guys know what I'm talking about, but it's got different pages in it. I wanted to get him Mickey, they were sold out. I wanted to get him PJ Mask, they were sold out. The only ones they had left was Baby Shark. And my kid is literally the only kid on the planet who's not interested in Baby Shark. Like, does not care, turns it off, doesn't want to listen to it, and I'm like, thank goodness. <laughs> Hopefully Ira is the same way and doesn't like it either. So we're just gonna wrap it up as like a separate gift. And then I also got him Scribble Scrubbies. He loves playing like um, he's putting his toys, his cars in the car wash. It's his favorite thing. If I'm doing dishes, he will come in and throw a car in the sink. I can't tell you how many cars I've had to fish out of the garbage disposal. I've had to start checking for cars in the garbage disposal before I do dishes. Um, he'll also throw them into the bathroom sink. If there's a cup with any kind of a drink sitting around without a lid, he'll throw a car in there and then tell you it needs to go in the car wash. And then in the bathtub, his favorite thing is to um, get his cars covered in soap and then put them in the car wash, which that I find acceptable. I'm okay with that one. <laughs> um, so I seen Crayola had these. It's animals that you can color on and then, do you, do you hear Ira in there talking? And they're jabbering. Um, and then it has a little bathtub you put them in and you wash them. The thing I find silly about this one is that they have another one that's like a jungle safari animals. Um, pretty much the same setup. I think the bathtub is slightly different. But like that one's marketed towards the boys and it's in like green packaging. And this one's in pink and marketed towards the girls with a pink bathtub. But I gave Levi the option. I said, do you want puppies and kitties or do you want giraffes and monkeys? And he said puppies and kitties. Which he's all about dogs right now, so I wasn't overly surprised by that. But this is for a family, for the family um, get-together gift. Because like I told you guys, I have to bring him a gift for that. So we've got Ira's little O-ball. And then Levi's going to get Scrubby scrubby, bud, scrubby Buddies. Um, scr scribble Buddies? Scrubbies? Whatever. <laughs> um, you can also buy extras for these. Like they have like little kits that are smaller without the bathtub. That are just like extra doggies and stuff. Um, so if he really likes this, we might get him 
get him more of those or something at a later time, like maybe his birthday or something. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah, I just thought the marketing on this was kind of dumb. Like, why are you marketing this one to girls and the other one to boys when it's li literally the exact same thing? Like, there's no difference. Other than one has monkeys and giraffes and the other one has puppies and kitties. Guys, I am chewing up this wrapping paper with my beautiful cutting. I'm so good at using scissors. So good at it. But we just scoot you down a bit. How much paper do I need for you? I'm trying to figure out if I got enough here for this and the marker. I think I do. Maybe. Guys, I've got the sniffles. It's horrible. We all had a horrible cold the last couple weeks and it's pretty much gone, but I still got some sniffles hanging on. family Christmas party coming up Saturday today's Thursday and I need to figure out a good dish to bring I have no idea what to bring my cousin suggested I bring chips because she doesn't think anybody else is bringing chips but I kind of want to cook something I was gonna bring a bowl of mashed potatoes I know cooking <laughs> um but my aunt already said she was going to bring mashed potatoes. So she's bringing mashed potatoes and green bean casserole. And then like other people are bringing little weenies and they're bringing dessert and they're bringing meat and cheese trays and like Hawaiian sweet rolls. So I feel like everything has already been claimed. Somebody else is bringing drinks and I'm like, what do I bring? What do I bring? Mac and cheese has already been claimed. So... I don't know I might just bring chips so I do have what's left of a bag of bows just like pour in here um, but I haven't been putting any on as I wrap with you guys because I'm stacking everything up and storing it on top of my kitchen cabinets to keep my kid out of it so I haven't been able to put bows on stuff because I don't want to smush the bows but after uh, like I think the last week before Christmas we're gonna put everything down around the tree and then we're just gonna work with him on staying out of it I didn't want to work with him on like the whole month I thought that'd just be too much for him but I figured the last week having him work on being patient would be good so I'm holding off and putting the bows on which again I don't have a lot of them I'm kind of holding off I didn't want to buy more until I used up what I had I didn't know how many I had I've also got a little bit of ribbon left it's not a whole lot but we'll find something to put this on it's probably enough there for like one gift um, <clears throat> again like this year as far as gifts are concerned, it's just been all about using up what I have and trying to get rid of some of this older stuff that's been sitting for a while. So, because I was hella tempted to buy some more this year. I have seen some pretty wrapping paper, but I'm like, there's, you know, there's no point in buying more wrapping paper when I've already got it in the basement. You know, like I've already got it on hand. I need to use what I have, not buy more. Same way with makeup. I need to use what I have, not buy more. So much easier said than done. So, we're just gonna, anybody else do this where you just like wrap up a gift with scrap wrapping paper? <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna put the rest of my bows, what I have on gifts um, before we put them under the tree. I might have enough here just to wrap it all and not have to use the rest of that one. There we go. I mean, a little smidge is going to show, but like he's story, he's not going to care. You can just set it backwards under the tree so you can't see it. I promise they don't cry when I'm not filming. Just whenever I take time to myself, if they decide to start screaming, probably because I'm not up their butts. <laughs> Where's mom? She's out of sight. This is the problem. I can hear her, but I can't see her. Time to panic. Looks 
lovely. You'd never know that the back is slightly visible. Mm. Oh well. Not bad in the front, which is all that matters, right? And again, he's three. He's gonna rip it all, rip it all apart in like two or five seconds. I swear, next year, guys, I need to start shopping sooner. I say that every year. I'm like, I just need to start shopping sooner or saving my money back sooner. That's what I probably need to do. Cause like, I still wanna get all the deals, you know? Okay, so that is everything I have to wrap for right now. I will be back with you guys in a couple more days. Okay guys, we're back. I finally finished Christmas shopping. So this is the last of it for the most part. I've got two more things coming in the mail. They've not shown up yet. <laughs> They're not supposed to show up until the 24th, which I'm doing Christmas with my parents on the 24th. So they might show up in the middle of us already opening presents. <laughs> they may never get wrapped. So uh, without those, which is some stuff from Bath and Body Works for my mom and my mother-in-law, um, everything else is here. So let's go ahead and get started and dive on in. I'm hoping to use up the rest of this wrapping paper. Fingers crossed, because there's not a whole lot left here. And I don't want to hang on to it, but I also want to get rid of like boxes and bags because I've got tons of boxes and bags. So I'm like, I'm torn. But I know that like if it's a gift that's opened here, it'll probably go back to my basement. So I want to put bags and boxes for gifts that are leaving the house and going to my husband's Christmas party because those won't come back. So first one here is for my mother-in-law. It is a gift card to Christopher and Banks. It is her favorite place to shop. So, and I think there's like a, can we like a 10% off coupon in here too? So that's nice. Um, yeah. So the little gold box here to put it in. Went ahead and wrote the amount on there. And I'll take a little bit of tissue paper to make it look all purdy when she opens it. Probably a bit more than I need for a gift card. So you guys, people are insane out there oh my word you guys it is Saturday before Christmas and people have just done lost their minds they have gone bonkers there are so many people out like I'm like where is everybody coming from it just blows my mind like I think of where I live as kind of being a small town but I know in the whole scheme of things like it's actually fairly decent sized in comparison to some of the other towns around us so I think a lot of people show up from out of town to go shopping, but I'm like, where are you shopping the whole rest of the year? Like, <laughs> I just don't understand why it's at the holiday time that suddenly there's just so many people. And like, there are some entrances and exits for, in particular for the mall and for a gas station that I think are just poorly designed and ought to only be exits. Um, the one by the mall, I think they should just get rid of entirely. Um, but anyway, I have seen so many almost accidents there. Um, and accidents happen there all the time, year round anyways. But like, it's, man, people will just fly out of there and it's like, oh good lord, are you trying to kill everyone? Because you're about to succeed at doing that. Like, it's just insane. Uh, and then people just like driving erratically to begin with like yesterday my son my three-year-old and i went to mcdonald's with my mom and we almost got hit in the parking lot twice N neither of which would have been our fault i mean pedestrians have right away anyways but let's face it sometimes people are stupid and blatantly walk out in front of cars but the first time we were heading into the into the restaurant and there was a guy who had just finished like you know, like when you pull through McDonald's, you pay your food and you go up to the next window to get your food. Well, like his food wasn't ready, so they had him pull up and park. And when he went to pull up and park, like, he didn't look around look around him. And like we didn't know what was going on. We didn't know how long he was gonna be there. Like he had just pulled up to the window, so we thought he'd be there a minute. And so like we're walking on out in front, like almost in front of him, and he just starts to jam on the gas and go. And he about hit all three of us. Um and I had to like yell something and my mom stopped with my son and then the guy I guess heard me and stopped because I, I yelled dude because he like he about hit all three of us and he just gave me a look